Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many React developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to detect a tab change in a React Navigation tab navigator without using Redux. Specifically, they mention needing to utilize the onNavigation state change method, but are unsure how to update the current view accordingly. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. To detect a tab change in React Navigation without using Redux, we can utilize the on navigation state change prop of the tab navigator. First, let's set up our tab navigator and reference it. This allows us to access the navigator's state. Now, we will implement the onNavigationStateChange function. This function receives the previous and current navigation states. Inside this function, we can determine which tab was selected by comparing the previous and current states. Finally, you can call any function or update the current view based on the selected tab. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To manage tab changes in React Navigation without using Redux, you can store the current route globally. This allows you to detect when a tab changes and identify the active tab. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. React Navigation has improved how to handle tab changes. After September 27, 2010, version 1.0 Beta 13 introduced a new feature called Tab Bar on Press. This allows you to customize what happens when a tab is pressed. To use this feature, you can define a tab navigator and set the tab bar on press parameter in the navigation options. This lets you log the press tab and jump to the corresponding index. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To handle tab changes in React Navigation, check if the window object is available. If it is, you can add an event listener for visibility changes. This allows you to update the document title and log whether the user is in or out of the tab. I hope that's found the resolution that you're looking for and you managed to work your way through your issue. Please, if it did help, hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next technical time you need help, have a good one. Have